I'm afraid I have to start with some bad news. Uh, shortly after this rec recorded last week, uh, there was a catastrophic failure of the Minecraft server, and uh, it appears something on the map is corrupted, and the world just will not load. A number of people in Team Tuxedo have tried really, really hard to get this working again, and great credit to all of them. It's, it's, the team has pulled together, and everyone's worked really hard. But unfortunately, to, to no avail, because we just cannot get this world going, and we've decided that uh, enough is enough, we're just going to have to give up. It's really sad, we've lost a couple of weeks worth of work, and the world was coming on really, really well, and everything was looking great, so it's quite disappointing. But unfortunately, there is nothing we can do about it. The, the uh, world file is broken. We looked at the the backups, and the backups had exactly the same problems. So, I'm afraid we're going to have to accept the inevitable and move on. There will be a new world created, and I will be making episodes in it soon. But until then, here is, unfortunately, the last episode of uh, Minecraft in this particular Arcadia. I hope you enjoy. Well, hello everyone, and welcome back here to Minecraft in the sunny land of Arcadia. Um, you join me just as I've logged on. I've been told that I need to be recording when I log on, which normally means that somebody's filled the house with uh, chickens, so I admit I did that. And it doesn't appear that anyone's filled the house with more chickens. Hello, Farfetched. How are you doing? Right, so, not up here. We have one floor left to look at, which is down here, and... Oh, right. Free sample. Okay, let's have a quick look. It's baked potatoes, cooked chicken, bread, and steak. A sample leaflet by Tort. So, let's grab the food, and let's see what he has to say with himself. Dear Simon, here is a free sample of some of the medicines that will be on offer at our new Arcadia Hospital opening soon. We hope you enjoy them and look forward to your custom. The hospital will accept, happily accept donations of wool, glass or other materials to facilitate its construction. Also, if you wish to donate medicine ingredients, these will also be accepted from the hospital chief, Dr. Tort. Alright, so we're having a hospital, are we? Interesting. Alright, so um, the, the, they give me some baked potatoes, some bread, some steak, and some cooked chicken. I suppose it will make me feel better. But, uh, interesting. We shall have to see where that's going to. Um, right. Just let me put this away, and then we'll do a quick tour of... Oh, yeah, that's good. Let's do a quick tour of the changes that have happened in Arcadia since the last time we went for a look around. And then, if I got a chance, I will do some gardening before we go. Ooh. Somebody has been messing with my plants. Looks like somebody's been stamping on them. That's not good. Have to do a bit of replanting there, but uh, that to one side. This is what the garden ended up looking like. Wheat in the middle, carrots and potatoes over there, and melons at the back, and pumpkins at the front. Looks like I might need to run a fence across here just to stop people from stamping on it or to make it a little bit harder for people to stamp on it. I'll sort that out later. So let's... Uh, have a move on and have a look around. Stampy chickens, perhaps. Can't see it being a player. Right, so. Right, oh. I'd say that's a hospital, or at least the back of a hospital. And a hospital made out of wool. Uh, looks like Dr. Tort has just started building his... Uh, his hospital there. So, right, we shall look forward to seeing what happens there. Near the portal. Mm. And 
here we are in the nether. You can tell by the groaning and grumbling and <laughs> nether fortress, very nice. Uh, we all went to Nero over the weekend and most of us just quite rapidly plummeted to our deaths. It was interesting, he lies. So here we are in the nether. Well, yeah. It was around here when I died. It looks like they filled in the holes, but it's a long way down there. Oh, okay. I think that's enough nether for one day. Let's get out of here, shall we? Back this side of the portal. Alright, and... I'm building two shops. There's going to be one over there and one here. This one is going to be Mobs Bits. And it's going to be a mob drop shop. So I'm creating a mob drop down there. Warning, big hole equals much plummet. Uh, you've seen me make one of these before and I'm sure I'm going to be making lots of them again. Uh, basically, just going down here, I'm creating a mob drop underneath the spawn village. Uh, should be far enough away that it will carry on creating stuff. And... Yeah, it's just the same thing as I've made in our world. So we got these these platforms for the mobs to spawn on. They will walk into these channels here that be filled with water. They got washed into the center here. And in the center there will be another drop. And that goes all the way down here. The mobs fall down there. It kills them. And then all we have to do is grab all their stuff. And get it up to the shop and sort it and put it into chests. Simple as that. Uh, we'll go into more detail with that one over the next few weeks as I'm slowly building it. I probably do something very similar. Well, you already know that I'm doing something fairly similar on my own Minecraft world as well. So the stuff I'm doing, this will be a slightly different shop. So there is scope for talking about it in both servers. Hopefully I won't bore you too much with it. We'll see. Uh, it's just boring is getting up to the top of this ladder really isn't it um, this is about about 50 55 blocks high um, the drop is far enough down that somebody can stand here or in torts hospital or something like that and not stop the spawning to happen and it should also be far enough away that people aren't going to be bothered by the sound of uh, mobs falling into their doom and over here we are going to have another episode uh, another branch of clucking good chicken which uh, is the, uh, the the fast food restaurant I made at my place. And Squizzy's Juices. That does look good. He's, he's uh, made a nice little place here. Squizzy's Juices will be potions. And let's have a quick look at the prices. Squizzy's Juices prices. Welcome to you buy it. Prices are shown over Leith. Block of cold is charged for regeneration, fire resistance, or leaping. And okay, so for any uh, all other potions, I request any of the following: acacia, jungle, or dark oak saplings, grass blocks, half a stack, stone, half a stack. Anything else useful for building an island? I get the feeling he's going to build an island. So this is going to be the place to go when you're like me too lazy to make potions most of the time and hmm palming potions always useful slowness yep it looks like he's planning on doing all the potions here do you have any regeneration potions do these work yet they work okay I owe you a gold block which I shall deliver shortly Right, so let's have a quick look around and then we'll go off on our way. Um, well, some nice stuff here. In fact, I've just realized I don't have any gold, so we'll put that one back. We were just browsing. Oh, actually, it looks like I picked up two, which was not intentional, so let's put those back there. And I hear the little silhouette of a zombie. Where are you? Uh, looks like this is how he's going to get his uh, potions 
from the brewing over there onto the railway lines and over here looks like this is not finished yet so we'll, we'll leave this for now and we'll come back later on and wherever that zombie is it's the other side of these stairs by the sounds of it we'll just leave it be <laughs> I, thought I, was, I thought I was shut in for a second there oh come on you Thank you! Finally! <laughs> right. Let's get out of here. Okay, actually, we're going this way. What's new over here? Nothing much by the looks of it. Arcadia Killing Grill coming soon. It's closed, so we just peek through the window. Looks like it's going to be a nice bar. Ah, looks quite nice, actually. Like the floor there, nice mixture of brick and uh, stone. That looks good. And that's somebody's house. I think that's Whipstitch's house. Squizz's house there. So you can probably tell with the subtle sign. And let's just run over here again. And Tort has his house there. I don't think that was there the last time I came around here. And then we're back to the mead house and nothing much changed here except for I think Mr. Bubbles has got yeah he's built his castle on a little bit more and somebody's building a sort of interesting sandcastle type thing here which is quite intriguing but uh, doesn't seem to be going anywhere just yet we shall have to keep our eye on it though. Hmm. Right, let's have some of these free samples. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, right. Still a good 10 minutes to go. Let's go and do some decorating, shall we? And I think this time. Yep. I think this time we're going to do a little bit of the downstairs and see if we can make that look a bit prettier. Oh, and I need to sort out that fencing a little bit, don't I? So let's do that quickly. And then we'll move on. Okay, so. Uh -huh, like that. This place unjumpable. So, what do I have on me? Oh, I have some cobble, that's a good start. So, let's get some cobble laid out. What I want to do is. Uh, actually, I know what we'll do. I know what we will do. Um, do I have any of that? I don't have any of those leaves left. I've got plenty of eggs if anyone wants any. It's amazing. You let ch invite chickens into your house, you just end up with egg after egg after egg after egg after egg after egg. After egg. Right, it's got a little bit of fence posting there. Do I have any more? Really must get these organised. Uh, no, I don't. Okay, so. What wood do I have? Not that much. Let's see. I think we're going to make stone fencing. He says, rapidly coming to a decision. And let's do that here just before we go down. So we want some stone fencing, which is that. That's probably more than I'll need. And we could use a gape, which is that. So that's probably good enough. And where do I put that hoe? Uh, hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah. Good. Must, must get these organized, but uh, haven't had a chance to yet. So let's get that last bit of garden done, and then we'll come and look at what we can put in here. Yeah, you're not one of mine. Just a gentleman caller by the looks of it. Okay, so what I want to do is... Let's make this a touch higher. Do the same over here just to balance these out. Doesn't look too bad like that. I think that's still alright. And then we can actually create ourselves a hedgerow here. But the problem with the hedgerow, of course, is it needs to go alongside these stairs here. So we will put some stone in. And a bit here. And then we can build the fence on top of this. Not quite enough. I'll go and grab some more in a sec. But uh, it's enough to give you an idea of what I'm going to do here. So we'll put a fence there, a gate there. Then people have to uh, open the gate to get in. We'll up the bump this up. And we'll just do it with uh, cobblestone for a sec, so you can see where I'm coming from here. So that will fence this area off. And I'll do exactly the same over here. What we'll do is we'll put um, some cobblestone to here. That oh keeps on. <laughs> it's got a mind of its own. This stuff like that, and then we'll put just a fence across there. I'll probably put another gate in there just to let people in. But that way, nothing can accidentally just wander through here. Especially when I get a gate in up here as well. So we'll be sorted there. Let's go and get ourselves some uh, spruce leaves. I'm going to need some shears for that. Let's just finish this job off. It shouldn't take us more than a couple of minutes. Actually, I want a few spruce leaves for in here as well because I've got an idea of uh, some stuff I want to make. So, probably got a pair of shears somewhere, but can't be bothered to wait time looking for them. So, let's just make ourselves a new pair. Like that. And. This house a bit more organized. Let's go and find a house of spruce tree and give it a haircut. Which there should be a load over here. In fact, while I'm at it, I think I'll grab some oak leaves as well. So spruce. Oh, there's a spruce and there's an oak. So let's go and trim these guys. And that will definitely do us, I think. Now, if you get the leaves with the shears. They don't break, you can pick them up. Simple as that. Yeah, this is going to be far more than what we need. These now rather bald trees. They needed to be moved anyway. Oh, need a new axe. Fortunately, I just got some diamonds recently, so I'll be making one of those soon. Yeah, most is going to happen. Is this? Yep, yeah. and there's one more above it. <laughs> All right, let's go up a little bit. There we go. All right, that's got those. Let's get that uh, hedgerow into place. Go and take ourselves a little gate, and then I think we're done with that. But I'll repair the garden off camera because there's no real reason for me to do that with you guys around. Um, probably also put some lights underneath uh, the hedgerow as well. All right, so let's get rid of this cobble. Like 
that and let's put uh, looks like I used the shears on some grass accidentally as well there you go once I put a gate in over the other end that's going to be pretty much mob proof and I don't think it's too much out of character either it looks all right yeah okay uh, as usual 20 minutes into it before I start doing anything it seems to be my lot in life for this game so let's do some quick building here and then we'll move on okay let's get rid of some stuff don't need that don't need that don't need any of that just yet I want some of that obsidian I think we'll keep that Okay, and what do I want? Oh, I'll take one of those diamonds. And I want some glass. And I want some carpet. Okay, and I think I'll take that wood as well. Is my glass some glass and finally just need some wool sorry about the delay block of iron not what I want magenta wool not quite what I want black wool we'll have some of and wool wool we'll have some of excellent right let's get building so I'm thinking what I want here is I think we'll do it I think we'll do it into this corner here okay what I want is I want uh, a sofa arrangement and then I want to build sort of a TV stand in the corner there in fact, let's put it across here because it'd be easy to build the TV here. And we also make. Also, going to make a, a record player. Let's make a record player first. So that is, if I remember, that and jukebox. And let's play guess if we're going to get a copyright strike so I've got two music discs found so far so that's we'll put actually I think I know what I want to do here we put the jukebox down here okay so we'll put the jukebox there and then if we put black wall up the sides like that looks like speakers Right, so let's have one of these cat cat will do nicely yeah that has a passable look of uh, uh, that, yeah that has a passable look of a stereo to it doesn't it so we still need a telly and I think we are actually going to be putting the TV here now. And in fact, let's just assume that is the TV screen. It's not quite the right shape, is it? So let's take that down. Let's see if we can get a better shape. Where did you go? There you are. Okay. I want um, 16 by 9, of course. Which that's not quite. So. Oh, big screen TV. Why the heck not? Okay, so do the same again. We'll have speakers down either side. Like that. And where's my glass? I want a coffee table in front of this. So I don't want that. I actually want that and like that and then if we make some wool put the wool on 
top. Simple coffee table. And then finally, let's just put a. Uh, let's do everybody's favourite. Just just use some stairs to make a sofa. So that's waste not, want not. Excellent. So I'll just quickly do this. Sofa, big screen TV, coffee table there for putting your coffee on, coffee. and then what we need to do is some carpeting, and I'm feeling urged to do something just quickly here, there's pumpkins, do I have some more? And what I'm going to do here is make some jack-o'-lanterns. I just got three, but that probably actually I've got I've got a garden full of them outside. Let's go and grab some of those, shall we? Just looking at the time. I'm recording this on a Wednesday, which is very unusual for me, and I don't particularly want to. Uh, be doing this when I'm supposed to be live streaming because people will only be justifiably upset so I don't want to do that there goes that axe Let's pick these up quickly like that pop our way back out And let's play 13 as well. Okay, so you make jack-o'-lanterns with a pumpkin with a torch underneath it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig a, a few strategic holes in the ground. One there, for example. And one there to replace that torch one there uh, yeah let's do one just here as well okay now I'm gonna have the problem doing this over here because I've actually used wool blocks as the flooring however I'm planning on using carpeting here so what I can do is I can put things down in the ground here and that illuminates the area quite nicely but then I put the carpet on top of it, so we just use this one piece of carpet here. It remains just as lit. If you look, um, lighting of 13 block here, take that off, lighting 13 block here. So I can put carpet on top of these and they carry on illuminating through, which means I'm reducing my reliance on these torches. So what I do is I'll take that one off here and just for now, I'm just going to put a couple up here just to light this area up and then my goal will be to get rid of those as well in the long run but in the meantime I want some carpets and I will get some carpet by using black wool and white wool and just priding a pattern of these two I think do the trick so let's get those on the bar and what I'm thinking of doing is just doing um, circles effectively so we'll start off with black like that around the edge here just to fill in all the gaps 
around here. Now what I'm going to do, I think, is I will take that off. Actually, no, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make this side all black. And apart from these bits in the corner here, which I can't do, what I'm going to have to do is come through is put wool blocks in their place, which I will do off camera. And the same will have to be for the door here, because otherwise the door won't open. So I'm going to switch over to white. And we'll have a band of white inside the black. Like that. And we'll fill shouldn't leave the door open. Who are you? Ah, you're a newcomer to the neighborhood, are you? Right. Okay, let's get these slabs up. And then we'll get some wool. And we'll put a wooden stair in its place. And why not? Right, I have just noticed our time is up. So what I shall do is I shall cut out now. And I will cut back in and let you just see the final, final version of this. When I've got all the bits and pieces of the corner done. And then I think we'll call it an episode. Well, there you have it. Uh, got the carpet in, got myself a coffee table, flat screen TV against the wall, record player, armor, armor stands, why not? And next episode. Well, I might do it up here. I'm actually starting to feel like going for a walk. I, I haven't really explored anywhere out of the site of this village yet. And uh, might go for a walk over the next uh, week and just record anything interesting and make an episode out of that. We shall see. But, there we go. There's my uh, living room sorted out. What do you think? Rubbish. Okay, fine. Thank you very much. I've been Simon Parsons. He's been my biggest critic. Thank you and good night.